Yes, good evening, wherever you are tonight, we want to welcome you to the Gildari Freddy Show. Uh, before we start, uh, we're going to start and ramp things up a little tonight. Uh, we've been paying very close attention, Freddy and myself, and we've decided uh, to do something a little different tonight in the interests of our country. Over the last couple of years, it has become very crazy in our roadways, and we want to use our platform in a very responsible manner to appeal to our people to make sure that our roadways are used in a correct manner, in a responsible manner. And we have noticed uh, that it has not been used that way, and that's evident uh, by or evident by the number of deaths and the accidents we've been seeing on our roadways in Guyana. So wherever you are, make sure that you do as good citizens would do, that we make sure that we be responsible, save a life, and save yourself for some expenses. Uh, it is the biggest cause of our natural deaths in our country, I'm being told at the moment, and very shortly, we will be introducing on our show right here and inviting our traffic chief and other policymakers in Guyana to tell us a little about what they have planned because we cannot sit our hands and, in, and expect this country to move to the next level if we are to hold the same kind of irresponsible behavior. A lot of uh, responsibility here. I'm using those words, I'm stressing on those words. Tonight we want to get uh, straight into the, uh, the hang of things. We want to bell the cat tonight and we want to, you, you recall the 2020 elections and what would have been happening there. In our midst this evening, along Freddie and myself, uh, we have with us somebody who is not an unfamiliar person. His face is very well known. He has quite a following among especially the afro Guyanese group. And of course, he's going to come and disagree and say, all across Guyana, I have quite a following. Uh, we have with us here Mr. James Bond, former member of parliament for the uh, People's National Congress reform. And so I want to say to you uh, also, I want to wish um, uh, Bond a welcome to our program. And I want to say welcome also to my co-host, Mr. Freddie Kisun. I see he has a very um, hideous tie tonight. And I did promise to get him uh, some ties and some short. Just haven't gotten wrong to it. There's more there are more important things to do. Mr. Bond, welcome to the show. Freddie, welcome. Uh, Today I saw something, before we start, I saw something today and yesterday, it was brought to my attention, the people who have been looking at us asked us to raise the issue. It was an ad by the Princess Casino asking for uh, game dealers, and they're saying, you know, apply, but you need not to be Guyanese, we only want Latinos. Fortunately for the Princess Casino, the Labour Ministry stepped in and says, you know, can't happen. And that's the kind of behaviour that uh, we should be seeing from our ministries, from our other regulators. If you want to move this country to the next level, you've got to change the attitude. Mr. Bond, this evening uh, we would have invited you here and I think it was our, our guys who were doing the graphics. Um, they said they describe you as an opposition member. Yeah. And you talk yeah. umbrage of that. Yeah, yeah. Freddie, before I, 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 I move over to Mr. Bond, would you want to jump in here or let's ask yeah, him well, straight? Well. Are you an opposition member, Mr. Bond? No. What is an opposition member? Um, we'll get to that. Yeah. But I think you, you made a mistake in introducing him. You left out his first name. You should have said tonight you have 007 James Bond. <laughs> Even the man telephone. Um, has his phone number is that. Right, right. Anyway, um, the last time the three was met physically like and this. And was above there. Yeah, yeah. And he said to me, your hair is getting You're getting gray, Freddie. You're getting gray. Well, getting it's gray. Yeah. It's gray, yeah. Um, James, you took offense to that, James, though. I, I, <laughs> James, um, I want to ask you, yeah. um, what are your two favorite James Bond movies? Um... To, to be, uh, I don't have a favorite. Um, well, I don't if you watch, don't have a favorite, I haven't I watched I I Golden Eye. Golden Eye is very good. Well, I, I could say what my, my, my actors, my two favorite actors no, are, no, the are movies. Who that? Are Golden Eye, Pussy Galore. Okay, I thought it would have been Goldfinger. Goldfinger because no, Gold, Goldfinger, the team song says, The man with the Midas touch, the spider touch. And you've always had a spider touch. You've always been a devious person. 
Well, I don't, I don't quite agree with that. I don't quite agree with that. Um, but Pierce Bros and Sean Connery have been uh, my two favorites. Um, Pierce Bros and Sean Connery, two favorite actors. So you don't see yourself as a kin to Goldfinger? Why would I? The I mean, Midas, I, 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 I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real person. I'm a real person. Um, I don't have a Midas well, touch. I'm very successful. You don't have if a you want to say, If you want to say I'm successful, whatever I do, I can um, accept that right off the bat. But I might just touch it and in, in, um, imply some kind of magic or some kind of luck or perchance. I just work well, hard. a spider touch too. I don't know, <laughs> I, I don't know what is anyway, a spider's touch. Um, James, <laughs> I, I saw you as a young man yeah. challenging David Granger. I was in the audience and the debate was at the St. George's Church. Yes. You were challenged David Granger for leadership. Um, you lost. didn't challenge him. Um, he was what is a contestant he, he as was well. A contestant. Yeah, well, well, you weren't challenging him. He was. Well, like, well, you we have were, to be challenging, we weren't challenging him. him. No, we weren't he, challenging you him. You were challenging. No. Him. We were well, challenging everybody. Basil Williams. Well, you were challenging. Finn you were challenging the other contestants. Yeah, and not anyway. just him alone. Everybody anyway. else. Anyway, yeah, that that was um, that was twenty eleven. So that's. 10 years ago, yeah, 11 10 years ago, correct, correct. and you were pretty young then. I was wondering why you didn't challenge, if you object to the word, and I, I defer to you, why you didn't contest um, last December? I think when you look at the numbers Norton got, less than 50% of the delegates voted for him. My question after that long, so, so accumulatory, intervention my question to you is why didn't you go for the leadership in december no i wasn't ready and um at the, the time the frame of my mind i'm in right now i'm not ready to challenge for anything um i'm trying to lay a foundation before i get back into politics and you know they say don't say your plans but there's certain certain things that you do and you i'm not ashamed to say it i have a plan all right, I have a plan, a seven-year plan. So I'm working on my seven-year plan. I'm laying a foundation. Um, again, you could be in politics for 10, 15, 20 years, and people don't know who you are, what you stand for. So what I'm doing now is laying that foundation so Guyana knows who I am, what I stand for. So I'm giving myself seven years. I'm 43 now by age 50, and I'm going to take another knock at politics. But for now... Um, I won't be contesting or challenging or running for any political office. Ghana must know who I am. I have a passion for politics, but Ghana must know what my ide ideologies are, what my philosophies are, what motivates me, what drives me. Um, that is what I'm trying to do right now. But what what's the about turn? Some people would say. Uh, some people would say. You were one of the, the the front persons during the 2020 elections who who said that 20, they... 20, 2011 too. Okay, let's go to the 2020. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They would have said that you would have been leading the charge um, or one of the leaders of the charge that insisting that the coalition won the elections. The coalition is out. There's a new government in place under President Air Finale. And now you're out. Explain that to us. We're trying to understand. Um, I, I forget 2015. I was more vocal, more visible in 2015 than in 20, 2011 and 2020. 2015, I was the most, I was the most, um, in terms of young people, that's where I was the most recognizable. 2011 is when I was now coming in, um, managing the, the marches, the protests, um, getting shot, um, was marching peaceably. So, Leading up to 2020, I was cool and calm. I was simply man in a ma more managerial capacity. Um, in, in that time, social media, in 2020, social media was a bit more um, amped up than in 2015 and 2011. So maybe more persons had access to me via social media. But I was simply taking care of, um, I was deputy uh, manager for the Georgetown district. So I was confined to Georgetown district. And... Um, in terms of logistics, um, I was basically in charge of logistics uh, of handling the the movements or, or, or of the of the the the, 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 the ballot boxes, managing the, the where the ballot boxes went, where the uh, the different regions. That is where I was um, in charge of managing uh, the logistics and deputy man, manager for Georgetown District. So, 
2020 was did not see the most vocal James Bond, did not see the most visible James Bond. 2020, 2011 and 2015 did. Um, and I don't see myself as out. Uh, how do I put it this way? In Guyana, <laughs> in politics, you know, um, everyone sees uh, persons who they would like to work with. Uh, they saw other persons that they think that they could they could work with. Um, I only took umbrage to the slight that uh, Vala Lawrence got when she was not selected for parliament. You know, um, I did not see any slight where persons uh, where I was not selected. Um, I did not take any personal umbrage to that. I, I see. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not the chosen one. Uh, I could take rejection. Um, so I would never say that I was out. Um, now I took myself out completely from politics and a decision of my of my own making. Um, so wait, wait a minute. From now until seven years, yeah, you are building an alternative life, an alternative world. I mean, alternative in the context of politics. But life has intervening factors. You and I'm I. I'm building a political life. Um, oh, you're building a political life. That's what I'm just saying. I'm laying that political foundation. I'm saying is. So it's not seven a, years. Not, I'm laying a political foundation. Not I'm politically. Laying, I'm not laying, in the PNC. Not, not with any party. Not about any party. And, and again, I'm glad we're going to have this discussion. I, I wish we get some more time so we, you you could, like, time. we, 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 could, we could really get it straight up off the bat. If. And you have you have been around and you've seen what the the, the, the brackets would have caused. If I say um, I'm building something for PNC, what about PPP? What about AFC? What about WPA? The minute that you choose a camp, automatically the other half of Guyana feels offended. And that is what is wrong with it. So my job is not to put myself where you give me a label and that is the umbrage I took to putting opposition member. My label will never be and will never be from hence to forth. James Bond is X, James Bond is Y. I'm trying to show the Guyanese people, look, you could belong to any political party and still have an independent view. You could still love your country equally. You could still object when your party goes wrong or commend the other party when they go right. Is a kind of maturity that, that it takes a time to lay that foundation. I cannot go and jump up and say that I'm running for PNC. Automatically, person is going to expect, you know what? James, you've got to cuss and lick down every single thing the PP does. If I go and join the PP, they're going to say, James, you're a sellout, you're a house Negro. Why would I bring that kind of controversy? Let me let Guyana see me for being independent. And when I decide to make a move, they're going to say, yeah, we've seen him for seven years. We've observed it for seven years. And just like you, he's been consistent. When X went wrong, he said you're going wrong. And when X went right, he said you went right. Am that I, is what I'm trying to lay. I might to take it that you laying the groundwork, political groundwork for your own party. Are we going to see you having your own party and you're giving yourself quite a long time, seven years? You, um, that is a possibility. I'm, I could say this here. You're looking at a person who could be the leader of the PPP, the leader of PNC, the leader of his own party. Again, I will not go into a bracket and a label. I will not be limited. Um, again, like I, like I said, uh, the, the little conversation we have. When you understand individualism and the power of the individual, the individual is a brand. When you see the potential you have as an individual to not only change your own life, but the circumstances of the world around you, you stop putting yourselves into labels and brackets. I'm, I'm not. I'm not making sense. No, no, you're not making sense. I'm, I'm not making you. sense. Yeah, you're okay. not making sense. I'm not making here sense. Here is what That's I'm not good. getting. That is good. Uh, here, here's what I'm not getting. Yeah. You were, in, and I, I must come back to the 2020 because I think I'm Bond, it. Uh -huh. we come, we come Bond, to it. Bond is I think, right I think up. I know what he's doing. Uh -huh. Freddie Bond was I'm right up in our face it. in 2020. He yeah. was one of the leaders that his party um, yeah. uh, supporters were looking out for. He was one of them that was on social media talking about uh, the elections that, that they have won. He was standing with Valde Lawrence, um, uh, uh, Minister Valde Lawrence at that time, on the escalator at Ashman's building. 
and uh, they were insisting uh, that they have won. Now let's start there, Mr. Bond. Uh, this is two years later that you are telling the Guyanese people that it's about turn, that you take. There's no about turn. Why you think it is about turn after all I've told you? <laughs> And I'm laying a foundation. Why are you saying there's an about Why turn? would you walk away from that if what? your one is I'm talking? not walking. Uh, explain to Leonard because I think I'm, I'm, I'm not. I don't want to say I'm talking over his head. But he's, I think he's being deliberate and not grasping what I'm saying. I'm saying, Leonard. I'm saying, and listen to me very clearly and slowly. I'm not walking away. I'm not backpedaling. I'm not disowning. I'm not running. I'm saying I'm laying a foundation for seven years, my brother. Could you understand that? A political foundation. You want me to own 2020? You want to say James Bond was the leader of the PNC in Apnu? I was saying Apnu won. Is that what you want me to say? I don't want to say anything. I'm so, trying to get an understanding. So you're saying I'm backpedaling from something? I'm not saying you're um, backpedaling. I'm trying and I'm to get about an understanding. Turn. Maybe, maybe the word backpedaling. <laughs> you, you, but I... I'm not making up about turns. Could, let me see if I could. Walk. I'm here. Let me see, <laughs> let me see if I Freddy could jumping. offer let me a compromise. Yeah perspective first James Bond yeah. history can never be erased and history is thank you very much thank you very much so he is saying I know you have shaped a type of depotment a type of political rampart that was graphic uh, two years ago tell me why you remove from that you are saying, I haven't removed from that what I am doing. I am reshaping my politics that after seven years, I can make a presentation of who I am that is a combination of new things and what you knew me as. I don't know if that's the compromise. You, 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 got, you got it, Freddie. You got it. And like I said before, 2020 was an experience. I tell, let me let me look in the camera. Which camera? Ever look at the well, look. Everyone. Good. Let, well, let, let, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me let me let me say this. No, let me say this here. Let me say this. No, I'm not holding back. I have no reason holding, holding back. Let me say this. What you holding? Let me, back. let me say this very clearly. Everyone wants to. Well, let me go a bit slow. Everyone likes what to be salacious. All right. Everyone likes to be salacious, and um, f from the. The 2020 elections, and as I said this publicly, I served as deputy manager for Georgetown District. I served the manager for logistics. At no time could anyone say James Bond had control of SOPs and data. All we were being done was fed information to us. I know what happened in Georgetown District. I could speak authoritatively on Georgetown District. You get me clearly? So to say that James Bond is one of the least... Look, if I'm, I would do it all over again. If X, Y, and Z comes in, we said James Bond, these are, the results of the, uh, these are the results of the election. We've won the election. These are the results of the election. You've won the election. What do I say? No, we win the election. I ain't see no symbol. All I'm responding to is the information I was given. That's all. Why is it so difficult to understand? Why is that so difficult to understand? If you were to tell me, no, James... In hindsight, you should not. Come on. If I had it all over again, in the position I was, with the information I was, I have, was getting at the time, I would say quite clearly, yes, I would do it all over again. I have no apologies for that. Later down, you would see after the recount came out, um, after the transition came, I was one of the first persons that says, look, we did not win the elections. Who could remember that? Could you remember that? Could you remember that? That you came out. I that I said, we did not win the elections. You never heard me say that? I can't remember saying. Freddie, you remember that? <laughs> honestly, <laughs> so probably, honestly, probably you're not honestly, on my page. Honestly, I said it very clearly. From, and this is, this is, this is you not, can't ask him to remember what he doesn't No, remember. what I'm saying is, it appears he's, he's, he's remembering stuff. He's remembering two, or two years ago. I made that statement just after, just in 2020, about two years ago, when I said very clearly... It's impossible to say you won, the, won an election. Is it for me? It's impossible to say that you've won an election when you have a, 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 a tally before you that shows you did not. And I said clearly, if you think you win the election, go to Chef Chandra Paul Drive. That's a statement on my Facebook page. If you're claiming that you won, go to Chef Chandra Paul Drive. All right? And I also say, 
in the 2020 elections, there were shenanigans left, right, and center. I said if we accept Mingo shenanigans, which we um, region four shenanigans and all these the shenanigans, of course, accept it all. But you can't not accept the shenanigans in region four and not accept the shenanigans of where persons are clearly seeing persons out of the country who were deceased, voters, votes were cast for them. I'm saying very clearly, I was saying very clearly, you have to look at the vote. They were missing poll documents. 2020 was a terrible election. It was a terrible election. And I hope we have, before we have all these commissions and inquiries, bring the electoral reforms. 2020 was a disaster for Guyana. Did you have a look? I don't see that way. All right. Uh -huh. All right. Yes. James, did you have a look? It was a disaster. Um, did you have a look at the statement of polls during the 2020? Did you... One of the things that the PPP has been accusing and the supporters, they're saying that if you had the statement of polls, why did you not produce it? That's the ultimate yeah, who had, evidence. <laughs> well, who have statement of polls, James Bond? The party had. Which the party? The PPP put it up. No, which party would have had statement of polls? The, uh... Everybody had copies of statement of polls. Yeah, but that's not a question for James Bond. You'd rightly admit. no, but you as an intelligent, as 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 a member of parliament, as uh, as as one of the top advisors, a leader of the party, who? <laughs> for as who? a leader of the party, did leader you not which, see it? Which, did you not party? see it um, that I want to know? Me, James Bond, I want to know. You have the statement of poll, which everybody was calling for. We we have won the election, definitively. I'm going to produce it to you to prove that we have won it. Why was that never produced? Again, I think you're directing your question to the wrong person. Well, you tell it to us. We don't know. There's no, a lot of gray areas no, here. No, there's no gray areas you, know, you know, look. It's with, black with, and white. With, with <laughs> James, with all all respect i admire that the fact that you come in here we trying to fill in the gaps that happened in 2020 i yeah the wrong, so. person coming was not here. the wrong person who, coming so, okay if you can't answer who can you answer? gotta ask the leaders at the time and they were, you know their names you gotta invite them since when is james bond possessed with the seems a pull for up but you were one of them that was saying with all due respect again you were Based one of on them what? that was saying and i told you before but i think the leadership within his question james yeah i i i think when he say you uh -huh. he's meaning given your status in Guyanese society your political longevity you should come up and given the fact that in 2020 you held uh -huh. a strategic position for your party you were deputy um, logistical officer for Georgetown. I think it's a logical question to ask in all this drama, uh -huh. this imbroglio, this, this fiasco. In those five months, it was expected that the statements of poll of both parties would have been produced. I think Mr. Jack Dio outsmarted the PNC terribly and humiliated the PNC by saying, look, here Which are PNC? my Was the PNC principle. running in, in 2020? Well, you're splitting hairs then, man. No, you're I'm not splitting hairs, and that's a thing. All right, let, let me stick, let me stick a pin on that. Let me stick a pin with that. Let me stick a pin with that. No, 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 and I, let me say this here, the immoral reference, it's immoral to refer to the PNC as a party when you should not. The PNC did not contest 2020 elections and politicians from the PPP, commentators like yourself need to stop it. If the PNC is involved, mention the PNC, but you keep raising the Burnham boogeyman, you keep raising the PNC boogeyman. To suit your own selfish ends. And it's immoral. You talk about deceitful, that is deceitful. The PNC did not contest that election. You, I'm saying this here very clearly. And I hope Gan is listening. Stop dragging the PNC's name through the mud unnecessarily. If the PNC was there, say they were there. If they were not there, don't tell Guyana they're there. Because you know automatically when you say PNC, guess what you're doing? You're trying to resurrect the burning boogeyman, the rigging boogeyman. And that is why it's contributing to the division of this country. It's immoral and we need to stop. 
the PBP, AFP, and UAFC. You could continue. No, sir. no. Uh, that, that's no. a lawyer talking that's, here. Freddy. All right, that, I, that's made a lawyer talking. I made my point. Let me tell you why. Well, I made my point. He's right. I made my point. But it that has no political. I have made my that point. That has no political I've made and my practical point. significance. Yes. It, I've made my point. Nothing. I've made my point. Nothing can happen in the United Nations without its leading financier, the United States. Okay? Nothing can happen in the cabinet of Guyana without the president's assent. APNU was, and this is not me, this is David Hines, APNU had symbolic significance. APNU had legal significance in that the party that entered the election named APNU on a practical level on the level of real politics the people who controlled the government of APNU AFC and in 2020 the people who controlled the election was the major force in that coalition the PNC what James is saying here, listen man, must not talk about the PNC during the 2020 election, must say APNU, but that is one interpretation. If you want to say, talk about the APNU, you can say APNU with the PNC being the hegemonic force in APNU. What is APNU, James Bond? I don't, I, I don't think I, we, that is what you're saying, Freddie. And if, if I may, and the, this thing here. That's um, not exactly how I'm re saying. reading what James is saying. He's saying, don't say. talk about the no, PNC. No, no, he's saying talk that it was not the PNC that contested the election. It is <laughs> no That is of AFC. no significance to the discussion here. No, no, you're that saying. That is no it. importance no, no, no. to the discussion here. <laughs> Look, I'm thinking. Uh, okay, what are you talking about? All right, if you allow me to speak, you, I, I, you want to take the table over? I don't want to take the table. I want you to talk. I'm just saying what I am. I'm going to allow you to speak. <laughs> All right. All I'm just thinking that he's saying, uh, uh, Freddy, is... But you're thinking wrongly. He's no, you don't let know me, that. Let me hear what he's it's saying. Let, let me hear what he's it's saying. It's not your opinion alone. Let here. me hear what he's saying. Let me hear right. what he's saying. Ladies and gentlemen, that's saying. Freddy Kisun for you. <laughs> I think what he's saying, it was not only I know. the PNC that contested the election. It was APNU AFC. So collective decision, that's all he's saying. And it is a I fact. I think that's what it he's saying. That's not what he's saying. I'm saying that's not what he's saying. That's not what I will tell you what he said in that delivery. No. And he described people who said it was the PNC as immoral and he said yeah, the they must is stop immoral. that nonsense. No, no, I'm saying, it's yeah. not, it is not immoral and it's practical to say that the election 2020 was the PPP pitted against the PNC. What he's trying to do is say, listen, when you talk as academics and when you talk as lawyers, must use legalese. You know, it's you must. Legalese is factual. But the practical, Mr. Kisun, the practical pra dimensions practical. of the election was PNC versus PNC. No, the um, the president's son-in-law, Dominic Gaskin, said AP, AFC never saw the statements of polls. The statements of polls. The PNC had it. Dominic Gaskin said that. I can't speak for Dominic Gaskin or anybody else. Well, I can else. tell you what he said. All I'm saying is this here, Mr. Kisuna, and Mr. Gildari. I've heard politicians say, for example, the PNC five-year tenure that was recently, when the PNC was in government, all right? I mean, they're, not, they're talking from 2015 to 2020, okay, example. When the PNC was in power, they took away this and they took away that. Yeah, and all I'm saying is to make that statement immoral because there was a government in place, not a PNC government in place, but there was an APNU AFC government in place. But the reason why they, they conjure up the PNC is because it invokes in the minds of their supporters one, the 28 years, two, the burner bogeyman. And so when you refer an election and mention just PNC, Instead of Apnu AFC, on which Kenra Dramjatan played a role, Moses Nagamutu played a role, Rafael Trotman played a role, Dominic Gaskin played a role, 
Mr. Patterson played a role. So many persons from the AFC. David Hines played a role. Tabitha Sarbo played a role. Chai Paul Sharma played a role. But to just focus on PNC, it tells me very clearly, and I'm telling the Guyanese people this, it's to conjure up the 20th years, the PNC rigging, the burner bogeyman. They may not want to admit it, but I'm telling the Guyanese people here, beware, it's immoral. If we're going to say in 2020, AP and UFC did something, say AP and you did something. If we're going to say in 2022, AP and UFC did something, say AP and you did something. If we're going to say in 2026, PNC did something, say PNC. You're not going to say AP and UFC for 1985 and 1970. You're going to say specifically PNC. All I'm saying, let's be fair. What you say, listen, you can come up, and that is what a lot of um, propagandists do in this country. They Am I lying, Freddie? Yeah. Am I lying? I think you're wrong. I think you're absolutely wrong. How am I wrong? wrong? I, I will show you where you're absolutely wrong. You're defying you, logic you, you here, are, Uncle Freddie. No, Sorry, you are, Uncle Freddie, but you're you defying are, logic here, Mr. Kissing. You are, well, well you're defying I'm, logic. I'm coming to that. What you mean by immoral, what you mean by Ill illogical, what you mean by it's not right, it's not in my rep repertoire of concepts. You want people to be legally impeccable. You want, uh, and you, what you are doing, what you are doing tonight, and, and you're seeking to, to deceive people and manipulate people by telling I people, don't have those skills. By telling people out there, you're, pra you're, trying, I to don't have those you're trying to practice it there. I don't have by those telling skills. people that the PNC was not involved in this phantasmagoria of conspiracy to win the election. I am saying to you okay, categorically, I am saying to you with again? pellucid <laughs> vehemence, that election yeah. is, was not a disaster. It was, it was made a disaster, into... Man. Look, anyone, any, disaster. anything could be made into disaster if you invent something. But you could take a perfect cricket match and if you're mischievous, you could say the umpire... Uh, uh, and they uh, um, had a relationship with the captain's um, uh, girlfriend. So anybody, I have, I have contended for the past two years that this election went smoothly until Tuesday morning when Gildari and I were in that station. But the PNC, <laughs> the leadership of the PNC, you know, I don't, oh I don't, I'm not exonerating Kemaj Ramjatan. I do no, but you are. I, I, I got you raised that point by saying, "Watch me." Here you do. Here you do. Here you do. Here you do. But I said, "Say." But I said, "Say." But I said, "I'm glad you raised that point." I didn't get to it, but thank you very much for that. By just saying the PNC, you know, what you just did. You were saying the AFC was not culpable, the WPA was not culpable, Jaipur parties was not culpable, the National Front Alliance was not culpable. So automatically, <laughs> watch me. You have, you have what you've done. If you have laid the framework for a great defense for those parties, so they could always say, no, you know no, something? No, no, no. It wasn't we, it was the no, PNC. No, no, no. You have to, you have to. Thank make, you very much. No, you, um, Thank you very I, much. I know you're a lawyer and therefore you're not, Thank a, you very you're much. not a sociologist and an Thank economist. But there is, there is in sociology and political theory, coal and periphery. Jaipal Sharma was a non existent, not even peripheral member in the conspiracy to rig the election in 2020. Now, I will concede Ramjatan, um, and I have to be careful here. I don't want people to sue me to... I don't want people to sue me to... No, no, you just say something. Just say something there. Just say something here. You made a phrase just now. Core and periphery. No, 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 no. What? You talk about a conspiracy to rig... Yes, there was. And absolutely, and who, the PNC and, leadership. So, so the PNC the leadership. The P, no, they, so, got, they can't be in conspiracy with themselves. Who they conspired with? With themselves. <laughs> you find that funny? I don't find it funny. <laughs> you find it funny? I don't find it funny. Uh, all right. For, you, for a conspiracy, you got to get out of play. See, what, you, what, you, what you're trying to do? No, you, you're leaving out a lot of people. I mean, like, let me say this here. I am leaving out you're leaving out just, players. No, I'm just, I'm just leaving that you... Out not existing. No, just that you, just that you could, just that you, just that you, as an actor in the 2020 no, election. No, 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 all I'm saying is this here. You're being a model here. No, all I'm saying is this here. You're being a model here. No, I'm saying this here. 
for me, like I said before, the 2020 election was a disaster. And I have my reasons for saying that I could explain Excuse my reasons. Explain yeah. your reasons. People um, are listening to you. This and I, and the, the two things I mentioned, very, the two factors I mentioned before, one, the Region 4 fiasco, and on the other hand, the, the amount of, uh, I don't, in regards to the soft word, the amount of um, flaws and faults right across the regions, from regions 1 to 10, right? It wasn't just region 4. So f when, when you look at it from those two points of view, not just region 4, but all the other regions, it was a disaster. So who said it was a disaster? James Bond. No, and who else? who else? No, no, no. Tell, in your no. wait for me. Yeah. This was one, this is an election that yeah. saw prestigious international organizations, powerful government endorse its legality. Enumerate for me the list of international actors, congressmen, parliamentarians around the world that say, look, this thing is, is, that, is a disaster. I know one statement so far about this election which does not nullify the integrity of the election. The recount report said that there were irregularities that need to be looked into. What it did not say, and what you are attributing, the PNC is attributing to the, to the creators of the irregularity, is by saying, look, people talk about irregularities. But those irregularities, in fact, were introduced by certain players of, of, the, of, of the CARICOM edifice. For example, Region 4 assistant returning officers, plural, gave statements that Claimant Mingo instructed them to hand over documents to him that was supposed to be in the ballot box. That's an irregularity. CARICOM spoke about that. But that's an irregularity created by scandalous, mischievous, depraved people that intended to create the disaster that you're talking about. Freddie, and again, you, I've never seen someone limit themselves so much. You're focusing on one aspect. Do you know what happened in Regions 1? In Regions 2, right in Regions 4. Even are you want to say Regions 4. I know right what region happened. Four. Yes, I know what happened. You're the missing, the missing, um, the missing um, documents and Who all say that. that. You? Gcom I, I, said that. The recon but, but, said that. Gcom. You, you're not, you're, what? Can I, can I say this here? Excuse me? You, 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 you clearly. Gcom said what? Gcom oh, said that. No, the recon. No, 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 no. no, no. Gcom said you're that. Not gonna no, no, no. You're not going to get away with that. No, no, no. I don't forget. That is fact. GCOM said that. Uh, the recount that's said an that. GCOM said that. No, for you. But I'm telling you, GCOM yeah. said that. Mr. Well, Bond. And let the recount said here, that no. from regions mm -hmm. 1 to 10. You see, that's the thing with um, limiting yourself. You don't want to look outside the box. From regions 1 to 10, the recount showed irregularities right through. Right through. And you know what makes a disaster? You ask uh, me I, what. I, I think. No, you got. I, no. I think we have. You have your own report. No, I man. Have every, no, I have you have read, not. You I clearly have, have read, not. I have read no. the recount report. You, you have not reread it. I have read the You are not. Report. And let me make this other point. You know what makes it a, you know what makes a disaster? James Bond, people are looking at No, you. you know what makes it a disaster? And why what is it a disaster? Yeah. What happened in 2015? What was a different 2015? But what makes a different 2015? You tell me and I'm going to respond to that. Was, how many court challenges were there? There was one that was never heard by the PPP. Thank you very much. And this one, how many were there? Two. In the last, in 2015, how many recounts were there? There weren't no recounts. In 2020, how much was there? What's your point? My point is, you had a number of court challenges. Not just one man, or two. Man, man. In 2020. You had two court you challenges. Had... One was dismissed for you... procedural absurdity. They Did back, the PPP make, the, the make a court challenge? Um, the they PPP, backdated something that Granger should have signed. The PPP made a court challenge in 2020. That should have been thrown in what you call the... PPP made a court challenge in 2020. And it was not heard. It, mean, it was not heard. It, was, it didn't come to light. <laughs> you, the you, PPP's you know what, election you know, you know petition something? was no, not heard. In 2020? The PPP didn't file a... 
you, 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 the, the PP filed in twenty fifteen. Uh, they filed an action in twenty twenty. You, you see, you, you, the PP filed what? Yes, they filed a court action in twenty twenty. It was heard. It was heard. I think up a diamond. Concerning what? Concerned the very twenty twenty election. There were several court actions. There were several court actions left at the center. Until they filed a contempt the, of court the, charge. The Caribbean court only one, uh, only one that, action. That they filed a, a number of that went to diamond because they were supposed to be fumigated the high court conveniently. Like I said before, get, get, get your thing ready. Right. I'm telling you, they filed an action. They what, filed but you actions. Have to, Action could be on anything. You could find an action to get Mr. Bond. What they was the filed, action they filed? They filed the PP filed actions. Apnea FC filed, filed actions. There was a recount. The PPP, there was the protest. The PPP filed only one action. There was a number James of things Bond. around the PPP 2020 filed elections. The, PPP, the, filed, the, PPP, the mayor filed two actions. If, there was, if the election was... One, the to, elections stop, won. to stop Mingo's masturbation. And the other one... Oh, they filed two now? One? <laughs> one, one was before... One was before You're the election was filed. <laughs> they filed a pre-election. And like I said, they, they filed, filed, they filed the actions. After you have seen filed actions, they no, were... Man, you can't put it over like that. You have to. This, you're, that's you're, why I'm saying the disaster. All right, gentlemen, it's a talk you're show. show. Let, let's, let, let's get back to the table. You're misleading um, people. It was Mr. a Bond. disaster. You don't want to say it's a disaster, but that's it was okay. an interesting and conversation here. It was a good and wonderful election. The disaster was invented. Mr. Bond, Freddie... Uh, um, James, when we come back to the 2020 elections, it's an interesting discussion because uh, for me, I'm filling in some gray areas and you're giving your take, Freddie's giving his take. But He's were you worried, you, no. were you worried uh, uh, uh -huh. uh, with your position that you, you, you played in the 2020 elections uh, uh, at, the, at the level of the elections? Were you worried? What were your thoughts uh, when you looked at the international condemnation and the warnings from the u.s embassies from me motley it was not the finest day uh what were some of the things that were again and i repeat the 2020 elections were a disaster it was a disaster you have to defend that what, did, could you say there? it would have been an indictment it was, on the it, it, was, it was it was a complete disaster you have to defend All right? it it's very simple from from the from the like i said before from the minute the elections were concluded, you could see, again, the issues that were raising up, left, right, and center. The Region 4 fiasco, heading to the What's recount. What's the Region 4 fiasco? I'm talking about it. No, I'm mentioning Tell us what is the Region 4 the fiasco. The same, the, the, the numbers that were given, the numbers that were given that did not match the, the final recount numbers. By, by Clement Mingo. By Clement so Mingo, Region doing, 4. So he was doing skullduggery. I don't have to pronounce what Mingo was doing. All you I'm don't saying have is, to you're just making another pronouncement, no, and here? you don't want to pronounce what I, Mingo was doing. Maybe before the court, now you know. James, can I say this here? You're damaging Mr. yourself Mingo. on this no, program, you know. Mr. Mingo before the court. Do you you're want me to pronounce on Mr. You're Mingo before the court? You're damaging yourself. Is that what you want program. me to do? You could, you ever hear? You know why you're free to do that? You are free and free. You're free, and able to be reckless with your words. But there's a court matter in place, so I do not have to prejudice the people, public's mind against Mr. Mingo. He must have his day in court. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. No, I'm not saying, no, you want me to... If you I want me. If I comment Watch on me. the, Here the court... Let, let me just make a point. Let me, let me, let me, make, let me make something when very clear. Been, Freddie's in a unique position for a number of years to pull down and tear down people. I like, you know why I answer Freddie call right away? Because Freddie's not a man who could be intimidated. He, I, 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 he reminds me of me. He's not a man who could be intimidated. <laughs> two Freddy's, two but here, no, here, here, here the thing. Here the thing with Freddie. Here's the thing with Mr. Kassoon. Mr. Kassoon wrote a time, in his, in his many a times, that James Bond get $220 million. James Bond this, James Bond that the London. The only London you would charge for that. No, but, yeah, no, man. Like I said before, so because a man is charged, everybody is charged. They're guilty. Are they guilty? You're in a position. And over the years, you've done this. I never this. said you're guilty. You said I got I 220 million, man. I am. So I read the article to you today. You charge for that. Oh, no, my all friend. Right, all right. Mr. Kisun, watch, watch me. If no, I wanted I to. I if I wanted to. I could have sued you. That is before the court. Why I could have sued you. I could have sued you. But you know you what? You sue me for saying. Yeah, because no, you, you said. You can sue me for saying what? Just, watch me. I would have bought the watch newspaper can I say and I say the court here? case to say you were. Can I say this here, Mr. Kassoon? I am not saying you, you were yeah. guilty. Yeah, no, I am man. saying you were you, accused. You and you many accused. others. You and many others have tarnished my reputation. I have no qualms with that. Like I said, 
you in a particular position yeah, by saying man. what? By, by saying, saying what? that London give me um this read the article. Read back. You may not ah. remember, but got read it back. No, no, I, know what I, I know what I go. And um by, by like, saying like, that, and and that, and all of those <laughs> things are fictional. <laughs> like I said before, all of those things are fictional. Ninety-nine percent. At no time did James Anthony Bond collect or gain two hundred and twenty million. At no time. Did Mr. James Anthony Bond? So you sold no lands? I to sold them. no lands. I didn't own no lands. You're asking the wrong question, Freddie. I'm familiar with so, that matter. You know? What you have to ask, Mr. Bond, I, I'm not sure. Well, let's ask it because it's You know, so, so ask him. Yeah, ask the me guy any was question. a lawyer, if I could recall that case, that was representing a sale. Uh, did you make a million dollars in commission from that sale? A million dollars in commission? US. A US. Million? No, no. No. Did you sign a deal for a million dollars in commission? No, I never watched I was paid fees. I was paid like in any agreement to see, like any conveyancing, I was paid. Say that as much as you wish, but say that. Don't say these lands were so James Bond lands. You were the lawyer. I right? represented the client, right. yes. You represented the client who was buying land from Nissan. But let me No, 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 no. Who's the buyer, who's the seller? Good. In the particular case. There was Arkin Group. I was representing Arkin Group. All right. There was an external buyer. I was representing Arkin Group. All right. So I was paid by Arkin Group for my services as a lawyer. That's what I was paid for. The land wasn't my land. Never was. And that is I, what I everyone was you, saying. I asked, you, I asked you just now. Yes. Who was the seller? Who Arkin was selling? Group was the seller. The land is Ar still with Arkin Group. Arkin Group was yes. selling land, and that land had belonged to whom? Arkin! It's not state land? It's, it's not, not state land. It had nothing to do with Nissel? Nissel leased the land to Arkin. Leases? You can't sell lease land. No, you could transfer your interest in the lease. You, you could transfer? Yeah, and that's all they did. Well, they the transferred their, their in interest point. in the lease. So people are saying, look. And that's who's, what Ar who's Arkin? Arkin is a company. Yeah, or who's the principal Why owner? must I disclose that to you? You do you have to? to why? You were, uh, because no, why? 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 Why, because, why, must, why, must I, why must I disclose? I'll tell you that. Yeah, why? Because why? if you uh -huh. are into politics, yes. you have to be transparent. What is wrong by what? government I, I lease? Will not, I will not call I will not call the principal of Arkansas. You have a problem with that? I have a problem why, with that. Why? 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 Two things. One, why would I put that gentleman's names out there? And two, they are legit, they are no, legitimate business yes, for I buying already, No, because said, why would I put his name out there? Why they would I do that? legitimate business people buying But why would I put his name out there? You, no, no. no, no, no. I, I, you asked me the question. It, it, I, I no, why would I put his name I out there? I just answered it. Would you like if your lawyer just, put your name out there? If I do something legitimate? To put your course, name, legitimate a or businessman, illegitimate? But a businessman, a eh? Listen, Freddy, state can I land. say this here? Can I say this here? Can I say this here? You can say anything to me. No, 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 no negative. I'm saying at no me. time will I disclose the name of any client of mine to say, well, this is the individual, that is the individual. I don't think as a lawyer you should do that. But I'm letting but, you know very but, clearly, but, Mr. Kisun, that the article but, you wrote about James Bond and his land deal made it seem as though this Nissan land came to James Bond. And James Bond sell this land for two hundred and twenty million dollars, oh. and you were so wrong. Let me go. Let me let's go slowly. You know, you let's were so go wrong. Slow. Let's go. And I you and a, others. I have a problem. With tarnish you not, my reputation on a, that. I, I don't believe I tarnish your reputation. You did, man, it because you say you make it sound as if the, now I no. But the, so the, the article charge, itself. The people I'm people charge you, pull it up. The people charge you tarnish your, 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 your reputation. And again, I said this before. Anybody could be charged on any allegation. No, let, let's go through this right. thing. I want to know who's Arkin. And I think yeah. the public has a right to know when yeah, it comes to yeah. public yeah. transaction. Yeah. You just said state land which belongs to the people of Guyana was leased to Arkin. And Arkin in turn was leasing this land. They transferred uh, 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 their uh, uh, interest uh, 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 to another company. Uh, uh, if you have a group like that, operating like that in the area of business, why is it not a legitimate question to ask? Well, who is Arkin? People buy hotels every day. I, people invest every day. And we hear, we see it in the papers, Mr. Mohammed Kabakulaka of Florida. 
will be investing of uh, 70 million US in aquaculture. You, you hear me talking Like I said them? before, I could state the name of the company. I'm not supposed to state the principal. The principal of Guyanese? I'm not supposed to the principals of the, the company. The principal of Guyanese? They're there from Mars. They're from Mars. They're from Mars. What, how, why you why you respond to the question by that? No, because I've already told you. Told that, me what? That, I, I've already said to you very clearly. I don't know why this, what the issue is. I'm saying yeah, I've, you I've given you, is. I've given you, I've said where I've said where you were wrong. And you you should have taken the approach, you know something, Mr. Bond. I apologize. You've come now and said right. you've come now and said to me, look, this is the situation that what? occurred. This is your this is the situation that occurred. Oh, that, I got it wrong. But I am apologizing. I am apologizing yeah. based on the emanations of a person. I'm not apologizing because a lawyer called me. I'm not apologizing because NCN called me. I'm not apologizing because the Bar Association called me. I'm apologizing because a man who is charged before the court with a serious criminal offense said to me, that ABC happened and Mr. Kisun, you're wrong. But here's what I'm going to do. I don't know if you're guilty or not. And therefore, I would not pronounce that you are guilty. If I said at any time in my column that you're guilty, I withdraw it. I apologize. I don't think one should comment on court cases. I did what any analyst would do in a country. A very important politician was charged in a matter where the government of Guyana said he was acting illegally. All I have to go on, and this is where you have a strength against me, and I can see that. All I have to go on is what the government says. But that government that says that about you is not no wishy-washy military dictatorship. It's a very, very credible elected government with a very, very learned, brilliant attorney general. All right, can I say this here? And I, just to take the point a bit further. Yeah. You were saying based on what the, the charges were. At no time the charges said James Bond owned any land. But that's what you claim another person's claim. That's what you claim that James Bond is somehow owning this land and, and transfer and sell this land. I, I can't. That's what you did. I can't. And that's not the charge. So you can't even stand on the list. I can't recall. That you, that you commented based no, no. on but what you the could government be said. I my column. I don't know if my column. I read it today. I, I just to refresh my memory. But if you didn't. If you didn't. <laughs> I read it today no, just to refresh my if memory. You didn't own, if you didn't own the land. Oh boy. If oh you boy, didn't oh own. Boy. Listen, if you want an apology for not selling something no. that you didn't own, you have an apology here. Can I, can I say this here? You have an apology. Mr. Kisul, can I say Mr. Kisul? Like, can I repeat? You have the luxury. You have the luxury to comment on anything without any care for what it does to a person's reputation. All right, you that have is, that, that luxury, is an unfair. and I you and you wield it. You wield it. You wield that, that, that luxury as a weapon. You wield that luxury as a weapon. You have wield it as a weapon in a lot of instances. That is un, for uh, unfair description. You know, it is my, a fact of my work. <laughs> All right, we move on <laughs> here, gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen, it's a fact. August the second, twenty twenty, somewhere hours before that. There would have been you a have decision. an apology. You're going to apologize? Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I you said, said, you, said, you, did, you, said, said you didn't sell land. Can I say this here? You said you didn't sell land. You have an apology. Can I say this here? Can I go to the suit? You're charged here, before the court for something. Yes, charged, I'm charged for conspiracy. Conspiracy to defraud the government. That's the charges. Conspiracy to defraud the government. All right? But the lawyer must know what he's signing if he's signing something illegal, you know. A lawyer has to know that. Yeah, but the thing is, like I said before, the narrative that was run is that, look, Nissel gave these lands to X, and James Bond was the shadow behind these, uh, these, these lands. And James Bond gets okay. these lands, and James Bond sells these lands, mm -hmm. and James Bond pocketed mm -hmm. $220 million. That was the narrative right through. All right? That let them to, to know they're still calling me land thief. Oh, I know oh. you get a uh, oh, million. You got paid by your client. You got paid by your client. I got paid by Arkin. Okay, you got paid by Arkin. Okay. How much did I can pay you? No, I don't have to disclose okay. that. Either. I don't was it in hundreds of millions of dollars? No, no, man. No, man. No, no, no. I was paid. I was paid. I was paid. I was well paid. Yeah. All right. 
And but at no decla- times you declare that to GRA. No, no time hundreds of millions of you dollars. You declare that to GRA. Ah, now Freddie Kissy, you, you want to do my personal business there now. You get it very personal there. No, how, how, if you own can I say this here? Can I say this here? Can I say I submitted my taxes. Can I say this here? I submitted my taxes. I filed my taxes. I have a, a, a tax compliance, a, a, a compliance from GRA for every single year. Okay. All right. Gilda, we yes. Thank question. you very much. Finally. Um, Let us know, okay? You know I'm a custom to Mr. Kasoon. I want to ask a question. question. I'm doing my it's, it's not today's story. Uh, normally, today's you, story. You, you're in the courtroom yeah. and you're grilling people. How is it that you feel you're being grilled here now? No, I'm not being grilled. You're not being grilled. Could I say this, sir? Could I say this, sure. sir? Sure. Right, right. Um, I've seen the tone and tenor of a lot of dialogues in the country. And that is why I, I didn't want to be put as no opposition member. Because I know yourself and Mr. Kisuna are two senior, senior journalists. One. And we And two. And two. I knew it would get controversial. I, so if I, didn't, if, I was, if I wanted to dodge and... I, didn't, I declined many interviews. A lot of people call me and say, Mr. Boyd, one year your program. Right away, did I say yes, Mr. Kisuna? All I am doing. No, I'm asking me this. Not right to where you said without hesitation. Yes, 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 you said that. Why did I do that? Because I know these are the challenges that I must. I got to come in front of the people who will ask a wishy washy question or a question to, to butter something. So I know what I was getting. So not, this is not grilling. Thank you very much. It's not that. grilling. Around no. August 2nd, 2020, hours before that, uh, James Wan and Freddie Kisun. Yeah. Uh, there was. Uh, rumors, because we never really got it confirmed, at, at least I never read it, that President, then President David Granger took a decision of uh, that he is going to concede. I understand some phone calls were made between the Secretary of State of the United States, uh, Mr. Pompeo, and again, and uh, the President at that time did not take those calls. He was involved with another meeting. Could you give us some details or what you would have learned and what you believe would have prompted uh, President, then President uh, Granger to have probably made a decision after believing for about five months that he has won the election? Very simple. And um, I must say this here, but uh, I've had so many, I've said some things about uh, President Granger. I've said some things about President Granger. Um, but one thing I want to say is been, he was consistent. He, from the beginning, he said, Whatever the, 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 the whatever GCOM says, he would abide by it. Uh, he said that from the beginning, right up through the recount, and uh, persons would realize that after GCOM made uh, just a thing made an announcement, at no time did Mr. Granger or APNU AFC express any dissatisfaction. There was no massive protest. There was no destruction. It was a peaceful transition. And um, we must commend, if credit could be, if credit, and I want that again, I, 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 my words here, this is for the next 20, 15 years. Give credit to Mr. Granger for his consistency. He said, once GCOM made that decision, he would concede it. What? you now bringing in state, the U.S. Secretary of State, you're going to bring in Tom, Dick, Harry, Jennifer, and Jane, and Jane. But he said it. Once Justice Singh made that declaration, he would abide by it, and he did. Kudos to Mr. Green. That's not, you are distorting the did facts. It, I'm going to ask one question. Can yes. I be allowed to ask a question? Yes, ask a question. Can I be allowed to ask a question? Yes, sir. Yes. Did Mr. Green just state that whatever the outcome from GCOM, you'll abide by it? Yes or no? Yes. But you would have to yes. put that no, in context. I don't want to hear a bus. No, 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 it's no, yes. No, 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 no. Context. No, 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 yes. No, no, no. I don't no, want to hear a bus. Context. context is important. Context. And you also, context is extremely you important. Also context. You also and in the context that he did, he did give over power. If you're saying that GCOM... I am going to abide did. by GCOM, and GCOM is being did. blocked consistently, No, GCOM James. made it... He, 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 yeah, 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 but if waited. GCOM is being he blocked... He said that. Okay. He said that. What would you say to but the people... Freddie, Freddie, Freddie. Right, right, what would you right, say to right, the people, right, right, James? Right. What would you say to the people... See, I want to jump the gun. No, no, no. I'm asking because th- these are great No, he wasn't consistent. You want to but... jump the gun. You want to say the mamas cancel the recon, cancel the the, the um the elections, turn it you back and do his life. No, no the man no. says let the process go through. You have for the night no election, idea what Granger was no, doing. For the night of the election. I will tell you tonight what Granger I don't, was doing. And I don't know you. Absolutely correct. I have no idea yeah. what Granger was doing. But let me admit. None. But James Let Bond. me finish this point. Let me finish this point. Let, 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 let me finish this point. Let me finish this point. Can I finish this point? Yeah, yeah. Finish this one simple point. Mr. Granger signed on to recount at the behest of who? 
Mr. Granger sign down the recount? Sign the recount at the behest of who? Well, I don't like your t t t t the use of right, what I'm behest. saying. Well, who? Mr. Granger mm -hmm. sign down to the recount as a recount. At the persuasion behest. of the CARICOM, the chairman of the Caribbean community, which at that time was the was, Prime Minister of Barbados. Good, exactly, good. It, if Mr. Could Mr. Granger have gone a different route? Could Mr. Granger have gone any other route? Other than sign on to recon. Could they have done any other thing? Existentially, yeah. Existentially, all human beings are open to choices that they, they can they, make. Could that they can being make. A, being, being a, you could having have made, served true, have, having been around for 28 years, then 23 years, then 5 years, and seeing what happened in other countries, did Mr. Granger have a different course other than the recount? Yes, he had a different... And what was that course he could have gone to? I'll tell you. I'll yes, tell you. Mr. Yes. Granger went in a direction that could, that could have created the disruption of Guyana. He could have gone in that dire direction. Well, he went in that direction, but he was stopped. You see, what you were doing, you were giving Granger a volition of action that he did not have. There comes a time yeah. in the dialectic movement... Of history where people are stopped. Um, the good example is Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson, even when he was being exposed and called to resign, he said, I am not resigning. I was elected. But then forces intervene. Mr. Granger, Mr. Granger was forced in a direction that had tremendous consequences for Guyana himself and his family. You have to understand something. We could say what we want in this country. Once our grand grandmother is sick and we take that plane and we go to see her, it's a different matter. It's a di we may never reach our destination to see our grandmother. Mr. Granger was locked. Mr. Granger's country was locked intricately in a series of international behavioral patterns which this country subscribed to. The rule of law, democracy, anti-terrorism, our, our policies, etc. Mr. Granger then was caught in the vortex of those international agreements that we have signed since independence. And one of those agreements was the international community to which Mr. Granger belonged, but particularly a subsection of interna the international community, the Western world, the CARICOM world, to which we belong, had told Mr. Granger, whatever path you're going in, we will stop you. Mr. Granger then could have made an existential choice and saying, stop me, which is what Burnham would have done, but I didn't. Hoyt was faced with the same existential choice, either to say to hell with you, or to conform to the pressures that were mounting on Hoyt. Had Hoyt not agreed to election, he would have been removed. Had Granger not conceded that result of the recount, it would have had implications for his family, it would have had implications for him. Once he had stepped out of this country, once he stepped out to any Caricom country, St. Vincent, what have you, he would have been in trouble. He probably could have been arrested. Uh, uh, um, I don't care what people say about Pompey. He was a, um, a minister in Trump's government. Mr. Pompeo, for his own reason, may have wanted to put pressure on Guyana, maybe to show that whatever you say about Trump, he cares about democracy, whatever. But what Pompey did was to read the riot act to Granger. And that riot act filtered down to CARICOM. There were visa restrictions put, and I believe it was put on Mr. Granger and his relatives and families. Those are what I mean by the dialectical intervention. So I come down now to the conclusion. In July 2020, Mr. Granger no longer had the choice to maneuver. And again, I have to, I have to, I, I listen to you right through, right through. You know, you know what you said, one thing you said makes sense. He could have gone any other route. 
But all of us could. All of us the, could. And, and, and from even before the recount, yeah, if, if, even before the recount, after there were objections raised, after the objections raised on Region 4, after his objection, Mr. Granger had always said, let GCOM, let GCOM do its work, and I will abide by the decisions of GCOM. Whatever Justice Singh would have declared. But he they, got caught in that. No, you don't understand. No, he got caught in that statement. And then, and it's, it's not about being caught. He was caught no, no. in that. And again, he again, no again, can I say this here? Can I say this here? You just said he had options. But all, all of us have existential choices. Just hear me. 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 Just Go on. You got a problem. I can't. Can. We can't. Go on. Go on. on. Yeah. Allow the man go, to talk. Go on. Go yeah. on. We, we can't be bullied, intimidated. Go on. Go on. No, all I'm saying is this here. Mr. Granger said, and has been consistent from even before. When we just read Region Four, he says, "Look, whatever GCOM decides, I will abide by it." Pop, Pompey didn't come into play then. Carrie come didn't come into play then. Carrie come come into play after. When Mr. Jagu, Mr. Granger. Um, the heads of state, they would have signed out to But even before, Mr. Grange was consistent in saying, whatever GCOM decides, I will abide. The right hat didn't come into play then. And that is what I'm telling you. You must see it and not, it, it, it's not to create anything. It's a fact. It's a fact. All you were saying is let the law take its course. He could have said, you know what? They say when the elections, I go in and stick swearing. He could have said, look, y'all better swear me in. Since the first time that come out, the first result that come out, y'all better swear me in. Mr. Greener says, no, I will not. So he's been consistent. He was consistent right up to the end. At least give him that. James, I want to take you up to uh, another direction here. Talk to me, man. Um, We've done it 2020? Not yet. We're going to be back in a short while. Right. President Air Finale and the PPP. <laughs> President Air Finale and the PPP. So as, um, <laughs> the performance in government the PPP's performance in government. Let's assume that you meet with President Ali. Give me a list of maybe about five things that you would say to him that uh, would take this I, country I can't to the say next right level. Off, I can't say right off the bat. I would like to meet, I would like to meet with um, President Ali. Is he doing um, a good job? I find my justice. One thing I admire about him, let me say this here. And this is giving Jack his jacket. He's making connections to the masses. And... Um, that is that is commendable right through. When I mean connection to the masses, he's he's touching or at least letting us see him touching Guyanese from different different and various walks of life. He's not the the the, 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 the leader that is um in an office. He's not the leader that is um catering only for um his own supporters. Um he's trying his best, and I can see this, trying to touch the various um, uh, the various groupings around probably didn't start um, that way, but coming around like I was. And what touched me, um, what makes me say that is that I was in Sophia recently, and um, I gave her name as Miss Betty, but it's not Miss Betty, it's Miss Yvette. But as get as get mixed between Betty and Yvette, Miss Yvette got two hundred fifty thousand um, dollars for her small business. There's a lady that was in a shack opposite the EPA, a wooden shack for a number of years. There's a lady I work with and campaigned with, you know, and now she's done her concreting around. Um, so he's touching left, right, and center. There's so much more to be done. I could criticize government every single day. And let me say this here. I, James Anthony Bowen, could find fault with the government every single day. But I take this, I, I can't, I can't be ne so negative. I can't be. Because there's a normal number of things that I see as positives. But one thing right up, up, up off the bat, I would say to, and it comes to mind just now, right up off the bat, public servants, public servants. And I said this to a few good friends of mine um, in the PPP, and I've, I've said trickle-down economics does not work. We can't say we take, and I, I'm the private sector now, I'm saying let the private sector get what it wants, whatever it asks for. 
Private safety engine of growth, whatever. We, I have no qualms with that. But don't tell public servants wait. Don't tell cane cutters and policemen and soldiers and teachers and nurses they should wait. What because we are not, we are not letting everyone else wait. We're giving everyone else what they have to get. So don't let them wait. They should be waiting on year end to, to get a livable wage. They should be waiting on year end for five percent or two percent. We all know in Guyana, the wages are paid to our policemen, soldiers, nurses, teachers is not enough. Pay them a decent living wage. Work it out somehow. I don't know all the maths. I'm not an no econ economist, as um, Mr. Kisun said. But our public servants, they need to be paid more. And that's why I, tell, I said publicly, I don't believe we should have, a lot of people should be in the public service. Leave it and don't work for yourselves. Why was uh, Voila Lawrence not uh, um, selected as a member of parliament for the People's National Congress? You're close to her. Initially, uh, for, for APNUFC. Yes. Um, and that's something that I took on bridge to. That's one of the things that I criticized um, President Granger for vociferously. Because... Um, was he angry with her? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, she, was she this, ever told anything? <laughs> this was well, a lady I, I could say who very stood clearly. up in Ashman's building I don't want to. protected, I don't want defended. to. If, I'm, if I may say, I don't want to divulge conversations that Comrade Lawrence and I would have had. Because to answer that, I may have to divulge what she said. All I'm saying is this here. Comrade Lawrence has proven over the years, since um, Hoyt's time, that she's a hard worker. That um, she's committed to the task. She's a people's person. Um, she's dedicated. One of the best ministers. And um, for her to be slighted like that. And she is actually was the chairman for the party. The chairman of the National Congress of Women. And to be slighted what are your like thoughts that. On that. You had your thoughts. Yeah, I was, you, very, I was very upset. No, no. You I had your angry. thoughts as to why that happened to her. Um, Somebody as powerful as her. Uh, I don't know why. I think that was a very... You want me to tell you why? Fred, you know a lot of stuff. Maybe you well, can shine some you light. Right you know? You got I was always ready. Why are you thinking okay. I wasn't ready? I'll tell you. I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> um, you know, it often reminds me of it, like, 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 um, I got careful. Like, I had like my tickets like on Freddy. Like a mind Freddy. game, the man playing with us here, though. You want to stay inside and then you want to take... No, I said, no, no, no. <laughs> We have people watching at us. Freddy, yeah. go right there. You could I talk, man. You, um, you could talk. The reason why the PNC imploded and Lawrence didn't get her seat and there were um, a lot of faces, new faces in Parliament. Basil Williams gave an interview and he said, why was I not... Um, um, oh yeah, Basil well, was slighted too. Why was I, well, yeah, he was left out. The length of the election fiasco was simply too long. People nerves got frayed. It was a disaster. People lose their so in the five months mm -hmm. there were terrible quarrels going on within APNC and AFC. In fact, in AFC there was some division because some AFC people were so adamant that they were sounding like PNC people. Now, in those five months, they were Charges and counter charges within the PNC leadership. Accusations of weak. I know one accusation that was made. Now, I don't want to say who. In the context, people have to read between the lines because I don't want to be sued for libel. But one person said to Mr. Granger, You're behaving like Mr. Hoyt. Once the white man talk, you jump. And that was Jimmy Carter. The, the cartel. That was said. That was said. That was uh, said to Mr. Granger. Okay. okay. I, I don't want to say who said it because I think you know who said it. If you read between the lines, now they have been a series of terrible back and forth in PNC leadership. Some of it was embarrassing and humiliating to PNC leaders, of which the greatest one was when that dossier was produced in Washington. And it listed Mr. Granger as a U.S. citizen, what have you. And then Mr. Granger said, what nonsense is this? Yeah, I, I didn't know there was, yeah, I, I never didn't know was there those dossier. I never ordered that. I'm the leader of the PNC. I'm the president. That was right. So you see these things, the PNC had imploded by then. Now one of the things Miss Lawrence did, 
And I have to be careful with my words. Here. Yeah, you gotta be careful. I, I think Miss <laughs> Lawrence yeah. was the chief opponent of the directions and strategies and thinking of Mr. Granger during the five months of the thing. And her language, I, I'm trying to walk carefully here. I think her language, her gesticulation, her depoma were resented by Mr. Granger. So, so far, I haven't commented on anything bad. I, I, and I, I'm, I'm going to say this here. I could, I could speak authoritatively on what you just said. I could speak authoritatively. Oh, so, you, you know said. things now? No, no, no. no. I could speak so, you no, know no, you said. No, hear what you said. You said that Miss, Miss Lawrence was opposed to what Mr. Granger, the, the, the course of actions Mr. Granger took. I said some of. Some of. It was five, which one in particular? It was which five in particular? months. Which in particular? Mr. Granger, yeah. as the months wore on, Mr. Granger was the one that was in touch with the U.S. ambassador, the CARICOM chairman. When you are a leader, when you are president or a prime minister, and you sit in the room with powerful leaders of the world, other cabinet ministers don't know the pressure you're under. It's easy for Ms. Lawrence to, to have said some of the things she said. But it's Granger facing Motley. It's Granger facing the deputy and the secretary yeah, but of state. What, what, what actions that he did that she was... Which actions that she did? Well, he I, did. I, I, that she, I, that I, she didn't... I, I, could, I could tell you one. What? Which one? I, but I, I have to tread carefully because she could say, um, you have libeled me. There was a course of action she wanted Mr. Granger to take that he didn't take. I can't tell you what is that because... Unless you call me, uh, like, unless you call me, Lawrence. Now, can I say this? Can I say this? Uh, you know, uh, Freddie. Leonard, okay, let me, Leonard, Leonard, Leonard James, Freddie, James, James, go right ahead. At James. no time, and, and and if that was the if that was the sentiment, what happened I, there? We what would happened have, there? Go right ahead. Yeah. If that was the sentiment, we on the ground, we on the Miss Lawrence would have felt some resentment, Mr. Mr. Granger. I want to ask and you that straight up, yes, James. For all, for all, right. all, all, like I said before, the information coming to us. All right, the information coming to us. And Miss Lawrence, as you will well, very well know, was never in close proximity of Mr. Granger and the decisions that he was making. I want to ask you straight, Mr. No James. No time was she for, for his stating. Uh, for no. history is recorded. You must, you must, you must, no, could I say this here? Could I say this here? Could I say this here? James, Miss Lawrence, Miss Lawrence, Lawrence, no. No, 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 you can't tell me I'm seat. I'm telling you, say Miss Lawrence I'm said clearly. Miss Lawrence said very clearly. You know, she said very clearly. At a lot of matches, she was never consulted on. And that was really she was upset. But she reacted to no, that. No, could I say this here? You, you, she was you, not you consulted. Way of now. She was not Wait. consulted on anything. What so that she could have had an objection. What happened to that? Friday, she could have had an speak. objection to what Mr. Granger was doing because Mr. Granger was doing what he needed to do. And we never on the ground, on the Miss Lawrence felt any any resentment. We were always like, the leader's done this, the leader's take the decision. Let us support the leader, whatever he's doing. No, that some, was always it. There's some things you may not have known. Well, like I gotta tell you very clearly. Media from people know a lot of things. From Minister Lawrence. I could say this very clearly. Well, why would she tell from you Minister everything? Lawrence. No, why would no. she tell you some of the things could she I say said this to here? Ranger? Could I say this here? Did she tell you everything? Could I say, right. tell you with uh -huh. no, could I say this here? Ladies here? and gentlemen, we, we no quickly run out of time here. I know she said to us, she's inimical to a position that he was taking. At no time. And you believe her? We have about eight <laughs> more minutes remaining. I want to ask you, James, could you tell us uh, around that election? This is an interesting conversation. Uh -huh. A lawyer and a former university lecturer and a columnist, all right? <laughs> um, I'm learning here. I'm the youngest one here, although I'm older than James Bond. Well, I hope you're Would you learning. say that at the, around the election's time, uh, between March 2nd, 2020 and August 2nd, 2020, was there deep divisions in the APNU AFC coalition, and I want to speak specifically to the APNU side of things. No, I didn't know of any. And again, maybe. Or the factions? No, no, there wasn't any factions. Like I said very clearly. I gotta jump in here. No, no, let me finish the man. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. You have to tell us why she wouldn't be the parliamentary. Can I finish my brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I finish Mr. Kasson? Sorry to jump in. All I'm saying, you could jump in. But I'm saying, just let me make the point. From where I was standing, all right? From where we're standing, it was always look. This is the position the leader has taken, and this is the position we follow through with. Give your support. That's what that was it right through. There wasn't 
maybe there were divisions and factions that was far above my pay grade. I can't deny that. You finish? I can't deny that. Why are you rushing me, man? Okay, I want to tell you. Yeah, why are you rushing sorry, me, man? Sorry, sorry, Go ahead, go ahead, James. I'm not finished. My apologies. My no, apologies. It's okay, it's okay. He yeah. always loves that to me, by the way. No, it's but go okay, right it's okay. No, no, go, go, go ahead. No, what I'm saying is, those things were never from the, where I was. You see, you asked a question particular to me. I did not see it because we, if you look at what was happening, because Minister Lange is the one telling us, for example, when we were to go do our retreats and really wrong about to inform the folks that what's going on with the recon, etc. She was the one to say, oh, we got to go support this, we got to go support that. All right, let the people them know this, let the people them know that. It was never a situation where, oh, you need them go and do this. Would you say definitely, you know, James? I don't want to go do uh, that. Would you say definitely, James, that Valor Lawrence, one of the top decision makers within the APNO FC coalition, was left out of the loop during the 2020 elections? During that I, I would say this very clearly, um, and from what she has said publicly, and what she said um, to comrades is, look, there was a number of things that happened that I had she had no knowledge of when it happened. She simply supported uh, the decision taken by the lady. Who kept her out of the loop? Mr. Granger. Who else? Was David Granger fully in charge of the elections machinery during the 2020 elections? If you understand elections, it has many moving parts. Mr. Granger was um, the leader of the AP and UFC. I was in charge of logistics. You had someone in charge of um, no, media, I come in here corporate media. Going. You, you know, there were a number of number of uh, persons who were in charge. You can't just say Mr. Granger you, in charge you of everything. You were asked a question, yeah. and you don't know the answer. Yeah. I'm simply saying to you, yeah. you know they the may, answer. They may be, I, I, I don't want to come across as You were Mr. Granger and yeah. Ms. Lawrence. I know why Mrs. Lawrence was not made... A, a parliamentarian, and I know but that. How you know, Mr. Granger told you? Do I, Mr. Granger, have to tell me? Yeah, but if you remember, so second not, hand source. So the whole. So you tell oh, me something. You so heard from life, here, see. You heard, life, so you heard life, from somebody else. Not only so artist, life, mom. Life, life, Am I to believe you, Mr. Kisuno? No, no, as life, a serious commentator, no, no. that you're one of the guy people to believe that you didn't hear from Mr. Granger, but you somehow know. From somebody, that's what Mr. Granger said. So I only could know something that yes. happened from Mr. Granger. Yeah. So as to why he locked out Mr. 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 Lawrence. Why can't Why can't Mr. Granger tell other people I didn't make of a parliamentarian? Why should he? He doesn't expect anybody. Why, why? He does not have to. How you would know he did that, man? Come he on. He said very you're, clearly. You're being ridiculous he said now. very clearly. Being ridiculous he gave now. He gave Basil Williams, um, Ali, and Bola Lawrence the back seat. Because he wanted to bring in fresh people. That was his reason. And you believe everything politicians say? If Mr. Gray just says you that. You believe him? Well, you know, if we had more time. I have more time. Okay, I want to ask one more question. We said we have an hour and a half. All right, good. No, no, we 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 there. We're there. We, we yeah. got it. Yeah. Oh, well. And it was pretty interesting. I want to say yeah. thank you very much, James. Yeah. Um, there, there are talks of the a AFC, uh, the Alliance for Change, uh, one of the partners in the coalition. Uh, exiting maybe at this year end. Could AFC exist on its own? Yes. Yes. The AFC or any political party could exist on its own. And draw the same amount of support? No, that's a different question. Okay, <laughs> let me ask you that question. question. James Wan. Yes. Could AFC garner the same kind of support that it would have garnered uh, in 2015, 2020? Um, if not, how much do you believe? Uh, what did it say? 50%? 40%? Yeah, the strongest was when? 2000 or when? 2006? 2007? 2011. 2011 was the strongest. Yeah. Um, to get back to that 2011 position is going to be tough. It takes a lot of hard work. I think the AFC is in the predicament it is because it didn't work. It was lazy. Uh, that's a critique I give to a lot of people within the AFC. I used to encourage them. I used to say, partner, I go into this outreach. I'm going to do this walk. I'm going to do this campaign. It's a bluff? And... Let's go walk. Let's go meet the people. And uh, they were lazy. They were lazy. They stopped working. They stopped doing politics. And that is why they stopped connecting with their people. You know, and politics is about connection. Freddie, James, about connection. 30 seconds. You're closing your mic. Very, very simple. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, I have no comments. It was a very great pleasure. I enjoyed the discussion. Um, time was not our kindest friend. God, there's a lot to discuss. But again, it was a pleasure. And the Guyanese people, um, James Bond, I've, I have a brand called Anomaly. I developed that brand. I like, I like the design stuff, you know. Um, so I'm, I'm, <laughs> I mean, I dealt with the fashion too. It's called Anomaly. And as I've, I've always saw myself as an anomaly. 
um, not bound by uh, how people think and frame and view. So now I'm taking a specific effort to let the Guyanese people know who James Bond is, what I stand for. Uh, my ideology is social nationalism. It's a big word, but that's who I am. That's why I uh, call myself in terms of political ideology. And um, the next seven years, I'll try to define who I am, um, try to define how Guyanese should react with each other. The maturity across the politics, the, the, the leveling of the, pay, the playing field comes to economics, etc. I think these are core values. And like I said before, Guyana doesn't have a racial problem. Racism exists all around the world. Politics and uh, economics, those are the two things that brings in the racial boogeyman. All right? So let us stay focused. Thank you very much. Freddie, quickly. I, I'm glad you're here. I welcome your freshness. And I know you speak your mind and you speak what you believe in. But I'd like to say you need, there are a few things in politics you need to seriously internalize. And one is, must always be careful what politicians tell you. They have their own reason to hold back things. I agree. Thank you very much. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you very much for joining us. And of course, uh, we can't say goodbye without saying a big thank you to Mr. James Bond. He's a young leader, and of course, he has his uh, opinions, he has his views. It's all good for us to record that in history. And of course, uh, I want to say thank you very much to Freddie Kisun, as always, co-hosting the show. I think sometimes he takes over the entire show, but that's Freddie Kisun okay, for man. you. Okay. And please stay safe and take care on our roadways. We have a duty towards our country to abide by the laws of this country. I hope that you would have learned a lot from our program tonight. And as we go down, we are going to find more guests. And of course, we want to extend again, not the invitation to Mr. Bond. Anytime, Many man. things to anytime, learn. Anytime, uh, anytime. So have a pleasant rest of the night, ladies and gentlemen. I'm growing and learning, as Mr. Kisumu said. There's a lot to learn. But they can